here at American Realness, doing a piece called Preparation for the Obsolescence of the Y Chromosome. It's a piece in which I navigate live a website that explores the question, what will be missed when men die? And how can we replace them with web technology, procedures, choreography, apparatus, and what kind of conservation can we achieve through the collection of man artifacts, man dances, man hands, man specimens. Um, and it's a lot of content on the website, and every night I perform different combinations of the material. And on any given night, I'm only showing maybe like an eighth of the content of the piece. One of my favorites is my male gaze simulator. It's a giant eyeball that tracks my motion. It's not like I love it, but I think if it were gone, you know, I might miss it. I just might miss it. <laughs> I have a collection of smallerizers, objects that make um, women feel small, and one of them is a giant spoon. And the beauty of the spoon is that it works on so many levels, because a lot of women use food as a coping device for loss, and I thought, why not move to the utensils at the edge of the plate uh, on which food normally sits, because the utensils are calorie-free and, you know, they can be reused. This may seem totally obvious, but, um, uh, <laughs> spooning, it's like... Uh, <laughs> I always think I'm making a sad piece, and I'm frankly always very surprised that people think the work is funny. Like I, I'm always surprised that people laugh, and there is no character. I'm not like, I'm actually, I'm just, how do I say, there's no script, and so I'm not, I just build everything to prepare for this. I just made more content and learned more science, and then I just say, and then the lights will come up and I'll know what to do.